What's up everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you the comparison of uh, the benchmark comparison of uh, HTC One and iPhone 5 for just two benchmarks because both these benchmarks are available on both iOS and Android. These benchmarks are Geekbench 2 and the GL Benchmark 2.7. First I'm going to show you the GL Benchmark 2.7 on both of these de devices. This is the newly uh, released uh, benchmark which uh, basically tests the CPU and GPU performance of a, a device mainly GPU so let's see how these uh, devices scores I'm gonna run the both on screen and off screen T-Rex uh, 2.7 HD so let's see which one comes on the top As you can uh, see here, the HTC One actually fired up uh, earlier than iPhone 5 in running this uh, benchmark. So HTC One is slightly ahead in running this benchmark. However, I believe it doesn't matter. Overall, the benchmark score matters a lot as compared to which one start the test faster. So both these devices now gonna run the off-screen test so I'm gonna skip the video till the end to the results. So guys uh, these are the final uh, results. As you can see here the iPhone 5 has scored on off-screen test only 6.6 .6 frames per second whereas HTC One has scored 15 frames per second and on on-screen test iPhone 5 has uh, scored 14 frames per second and uh, HTC One has scored 13 frames per second. The off-screen test uh, actually here is a more fair test because the uh, off-screen test will be run in 1080p screen resolution and uh, iPhone 5 actually has less resolution so off-screen test is 1080p on iPhone and 1080p on HTC One and as you can see the off-screen test uh, iPhone 5 is able to run only 6.6 .6 frames per second whereas HTC One is able to run 15 frames per second and this shows that uh, the GPU in uh, HTC One is actually much more powerful than uh, uh, iPhone 5 and even the on-screen test which is uh, which means that iPhone 5 will be running the native screen resolution which is even less than 720p and HTC One runs uh, uh, 1080p and still HTC One managed to uh, pull 13 frames per second as compared to 14 frames per second of iPhone 5. So I believe uh, th I will give, you, give this round to HTC One because of the off-screen test it shows that the GPU is really strong. So now I'm gonna run the Geekbench 2 which is basically the CPU and uh, memory test for uh, bo on both of these devices and uh, let's see which one scores uh, better on this uh, benchmark. In order to make the video shorter I'm gonna skip uh, to the results. Once again HTC One was able to finish this test faster but as I said it doesn't matter. However the actual score matters and the actual score as you can see is a night and day difference between the, these two devices. HTC uh, One scores more than 1100 points uh, over the iPhone 5 score. iPhone 5 as you can see scores 1661, HTC One scores 2727. And only in the stream score iPhone 5 scores more than HTC One on all other three which is integer, floating point and memory score. I've, uh, HTC One scores better than the iPhone 5 
and this really shows that how strong this uh, CPU inside and memory inside the uh, HTC One is as compared to iPhone 5 and uh, this is uh, my new favorite device uh, although on such tests I don't uh, uh, favor any device uh, but uh, as you can see in on the benchmarks HTC one has uh, score uh, way better than uh, iPhone 5 so it's obvious that uh, I'm gonna like the device which is running uh, faster and uh, showing better results thanks for watching the video I hope that you have enjoyed it see you later bye oh uh, before I go uh, I want to show you that um, I haven't rooted or overclocked or anything. I'm running the stock ROM. There is no routing done, and uh, because I'm showing this because I know at times people uh, blame uh, others of doing uh, these things. However, these I, I run uh, all these tests uh, on a fair basis because all these devices are my own devices which I have bought. Uh, through my own money and I have uh, no reason to hate or love any of the other device so that's it guys see you later bye keep watching my videos you're gonna see the s4 coverage very soon bye